it is currently about 7.30 at night and this is me trying to get back in the habit of filming something and having content up on my channel that's not six years old. So anyway, as you can see by the title, this is going to be part one of my makeup collection video, which is all of this right here. I have this unit here that has one, two, three shelves. And it's basically all of my skincare, makeup, hair care, all of that junk. Um, and we will go through all of that eventually and I will show you guys what this looks like in entirety. But today, we are going to be talking about eyeshadows. Hi, editing Alyssa here. Um, I completely changed the way I'm doing this. Um, so yes, we are starting with eyeshadows. <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep like rolling on the through. Um, it's not gonna be just like eyeshadows or blushes. It's just gonna be moving through my collection and looking at all of my products. Back to the regular video. So if you video. wanna see the products that I currently own and why I own them, and please keep on watching. Uh, my products are stored in these acrylic holders and I got these off of Amazon and they are from the brand by Allegory. If I don't say something different, they are gonna be from the brand by Allegory off of Amazon. And in this one, I keep my single shadows and my blushes. So we're gonna start here. Drugstore items first. I have this CoverGirl eyeshadow in mink. This is actually what I have on my eyes today. This is all I have on my eyes today. Um, this is really pretty, great single shadow look. Um, CoverGirl has really stepped up their eyeshadow game over the past few years and I am here for it. Another brand that has recently really stepped up their eyeshadow game is e.l.f. And these little palettes are fabulous. This is the one called Pumpkin Pie. And these are just, mm, they're just beautiful. It's beautiful. I love this. These next two, I'm not really sure why I keep these, but they are... <laughs> both green. One is from the brand Illamasqua, which I feel like is kind of hard to find these days unless you go to their website. Are they even a thing? I don't know. But this is in the shade Fledgling. I got this forever ago off of Hot Look, I believe. I love this. And this is the Makeup Forever Star Powder. It's green. I don't know the shade or anything like that, but it's beautiful. It's But these have survived every declutter I've ever done. I just think it's because I don't have a ton of vibrant greens. Then I have this one lone Kat Von D shadow that I recently got, the shade Lolita. This actually, I believe they market this as an eyeshadow and a blush, so there is that. It's very pretty, very grungy, kind of dead looking, but I like it. Um, this next shadow stays in that same vein. This is, what is this? Uninterrupted, I just completely blanked. This is Uninterrupted from MAC. This has now been reformulated into this size pan. Um, this is a very old shadow. This is a prolonged wear shadow, which they don't make anymore. They haven't for years. If you're interested in these kind of pukey, ugly camel browns, they do sell it just in this size. Um, it's not as good though. And then this shadow that I keep holding up was limited edition. It is Soft Teddy. It came out in the monochrome collection and so did this one as well, actually. And this one is called See the Future. So this is like a coral. This is in the vein of Wedge from MAC. It's kind of that kind of a color. Um, and then this is like a matte version of Paradisco, if you're familiar with MAC eyeshadows. So next, really quick, we're gonna run down my pigments and my glitters. I don't have a ton of these. I really just have my favorites and they are all from MAC. So for glitters, I have three. This is the Dazzle Shadow Liquid in the shade Flash and Dash. These are very similar to the Stila liquid shadows, but this one is purely glitter. It's a great like glitter glue base. And I have um, Ruby, which is red, and then Holographic Lavender, which is like 
How could you not have this in your collection? Oh my God, it's so pretty. <laughs> then I've got a couple of like the Reflex pigments. So this is Reflex Transparent Teal. It is just in special packaging from the Trolls collection. And then this one is Iridescent Sage, which is like Reflex Teal, but with like a sage green pigment in it. And then I have Basic Red Pigment, which I live for this stuff. I love this. It stains really bad, but it's beautiful. Of Naked Pigment, which I use just as like an all over my eyelid to my brow bone kind of a deal. It's beautiful that way. It does have a fine shimmer through it. Beautiful. And then I have Rose Pigment, which is my favorite pigment of all time ever. It's beautiful. It's like this duochrome shift from gold to pink. So it's just this beautiful like rose gold color. And last one is Blue Brown from MAC, obviously. And this one shifts from like a very warm red brown to blue. It's very pretty, especially over a black base. It's stunning. The next couple of items are purely, purely collector's items. I don't use them on my eyes ever anymore. And they truthfully need to be moved to my um, sentimental collector item box. But this is the Royal Assets Six Metallic Eyes Shadow Palette. Look at this. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's metal, you get a nice sized mirror, and then you get six shadows in here. Oh, it's just beautiful. And I'm probably never gonna get rid of it. <laughs> and this one I know I'm never getting rid of. This is the Rocky Horror Picture Show Riff Raff Eyeshadow Palette. I <laughs> waited with my phone in my hand to order this off of the website. I remember sitting there waiting. <laughs> I wanted it so badly. Um, it's beautiful, like it's very cool toned, so it's really not my thing anymore. I do really like Blackberry and this is Carbon, but this is these are not the shades that I use ever anymore. Um, I think I really have a really, really old video of me using this if you wanna try and find it, but um, I will never get rid of this. Rocky Horror Picture Show is one of my favorite movies. Then next, moving on to cream eyeshadows. I'm going to skip over my paint pots because most of them have been discontinued anyway and I don't really use them as eyeshadow. I use them as eyeshadow primer. Just know that I have a lot of them and that I have Painterly and Soft Ochre, which are really the only ones that anybody on the internet cares about. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just saying. So <laughs> both of these are limited edition and they are cream shadows. This one came out I don't know, with the Makeup Art Cosmetics Collection. Um, it was a bunch of different makeup artists that curated some products. And this is the Diane Kendall Glamorize Me palette. I've used all of these. Obviously, I've used this one and this one the most. But this is beautiful. I actually travel with this quite a bit still. And then this one, I don't use a ton. This is the Silly One six pan cream shadow palette. I use these more as like bases under other eyeshadows because matte cream shadows hold like glitter and pigment really well on the eye and I love this. Moving on to eyeshadow palettes, we are going to start with my Morphe palettes and first I have three of the vault palettes from Jaclyn Hill. This first one is the Dark Magic palette. Now, this is not my favorite color story, if I'm being 100% honest. I bought it for these three colors here and this one, which is funny because I find myself not using this a ton, and I use this shade and this shade and like this dark brown, and that's it. Um, but I keep it because I don't have a lot of this in my collection because I am more of a warm toned eyeshadow kind of girl. Then I have the Bling Boss palette, and this one has been through it. This shade and this shade both busted out of it, 
but that's fine because they weren't my favorite anyway. But I bought this because I didn't have a ton of purples in my collection at the time. But this is beautiful. If you're looking for a purple palette that's more like wearable every day, this is a good one. And I know there's been a lot of controversy around these palettes, but I have never had a single problem with them. The third one I have is the Armed and Gorgeous. I love this color story, like this shade. Like, look at that, that is beautiful. And I love this green, I, lo mm. I love this palette. It's so beautiful. Then I have her original palette that she made with Morphe which is really my ideal palette because it's warm tones, it's everyday, it's neutral, but you get your pops of color up here. You've got your darker shades, which could be used for liner. It's beautiful. I, I love all the Jaclyn Hill palettes and I know, and I love Jaclyn, and I know there's so much controversy around those palettes and her, but I'm never getting rid of them, I love them. Then I have the Fierce by Nature palette, which, to be honest, I was actually kind of disappointed in. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but all of these pull either orange or red. There's no, just so know that. If you're thinking about buying this, know that 90% of these shades pull very orange or very red. And this is what got me because, oh my God, this is stunning, but just know that it's a very, very warm toned, very red palette. Um, which, because it's that way, I find myself not using it a ton, which makes me sad because I love the color story of that palette. And then this is the 35C, this is the Everyday Chic. This surprised me so much because like it looks very cool toned but it's just very neutral. It's not like, I don't know. I love this. I was so skeptical about it. I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth of if I was going to buy it and I ended up buying it and I use it constantly. I love it. I love these kinds of green shades. This is beautiful. Um, posted a look on my Instagram not too long ago with this shade on my lid, but oh my God, this, if you are into neutral kind of cool tones, this is stunning and it's not super expensive. And I like that it's in um, plastic hard packaging. Next, I have a couple of Juvia's Place palettes here and this is the Warrior 2. This is an all matte neutral palette, I'm gonna say, because it does have these two shades in here, which are more cool toned, which makes it neutral, I guess. I don't know. This is beautiful. I love this for travel. These blend like a dream. They're so easy to work with. And these palettes are not super expensive. Um, I got this one on sale at Ulta actually. And this next one I also got on sale at Ulta. This is the Chocolates palette. This is a more, you have to like chocolate browns palette. <laughs> but if you do, this is beautiful, this is stunning. I love the colors and the color story of this. These browns are just gorgeous. I love this. I like these kinds of colors where these two are more warm toned, these two are a little bit more cool toned. They're buttery, they're smooth, they're great. And then I have a Huda Beauty palette here and to be 100% transparent, I was not super into hardly any of the eyeshadow palettes that she had released. Not enough to purchase them anyway. But then I saw this one. And if I didn't say this is the Khaki Haze palette, I mean, you throw kind of poopy brown colors in a palette with some beautiful shimmers and I'm all for it. But here this is up close. I mean, this palette is gorgeous, I love this. And these nine pan palettes are not super expensive from her, they're only $29. Um, and I do love this palette. This shadow formula is really beautiful as well and it's nice sturdy packaging. 